Mason. Start over now? Yeah, do it again. <laughs> Put the drain plug on. Yep. Open this guy up. Yep. Turn your water pump on. Yeah. Yep. yep. You get the water pump turned on, it'll start, it'll fill this up, and it'll start coming out of here good ready to flow. I got you. Once it's full, it'll yep. start Yep. Yep. Once it's full. Then you wanna Is it just a standard TMP? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that thing's gonna fuck up and drip all the time, so I'll have to replace it. Uh, they, they say they say that actually exists when you're closing them to close them fast. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I'm a plumber. I dealt with this shit. Daily. You're, you're already set up. Yeah, right? we're good. Perfect. Gonna go on that. Works. That's funny. Down here, you got your gray tank and your black tank. Okay. Gray tank's gonna be your sink and your shower. Black tank's gonna be your toilet. I always recommend doing the toilet first, or the black tank first, then the gray. The gray will actually help wash out the sewer hose. Oh, yeah. Standard ABS, too. So, yeah. so, so you, just fucks up, I can... you just connect the hose, and then what, you like pull that to start yep. draining yep. it? Yep. Okay. there's a blade valve in there. That... Okay. Oh. Cool. Woo! Then, you can set this guy up so you can get in the storage over here. Okay. Uh-huh. It'll actually lock that the wall up there, too. Storage. Yeah. Pin it in the wall here too to hold it open if you want it. Okay. So you don't uh, yep. have to hold it. Same thing with this light is you're gonna push right in the center. Okay. Phone charger, USB ports right here on the wall. Uh-huh. You got satellite and cable. So if you're gonna get a satellite or if you got cable where you're camping, you're gonna hook them in here, it'll be ducted into where the TV is. Okay. This is where you plug that short cord in. Mine looks different because we use our cord. Okay. But your cord's up in the front compartment, I already showed it. Before. Okay. Sewer hose can go in here. They is do there not... a minimum electrical like connection that it needs to have to be able to run stuff like 20 amp, 30 amp? 40... No, this is a 30 amp service. Okay. All right. um, you can adapt it down to a 15 yeah. at your house. Don't run the AC though. Okay. You can charge the batteries, get the refrigerator cold, all of that. Everything but the AC. But the the AC. Okay. And what is it, like if you have stuff in the fridge and you're like driving down the road, obviously not connected to power, does it... I need to see what kind of fridge it is first before okay. I tell you. Okay. Because there's so many different ones. Yeah. That... All right. The sewer hose can go in there. They do not come with one, just so you know. They don't come with what? Sewer hose. Sewer hose. Oh, okay. hose that hooks Got to it. there. Okay, it doesn't come with oh, one. Yeah. Got it. How does that work? Uh, maybe I didn't catch. Uh, yeah, you spin this off and you hook spin up. Spin this off. Oh, this thing pull out. Okay, yep. yeah. never mind, never mind. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I'll say, I spin that off and shit's going to fly out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that. Yeah, right. It's going to be the back uh, fade line. Yep. We do not lift with those, they just hit the ground and that's it. Got it. You have to buy a leveling uh, pad. Okay. Do that's okay, it. That's it. If you no, start doing yeah. any more, you're going to bend them. Got They're it. not cheap. Got it. You got those cranks in there. They, you can manually run these if the battery's dead or if the motor goes out. Okay. Exactly. The oh, okay. Before you yeah. have to oh, cool. So when you hook up, make sure when you hook up, you got those back up because you start pulling away. Oh I've God. seen it. I've yeah. seen it. Then oh, yeah. bent like this. Yeah. No, that's a it show. wouldn't take much. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I get it. This guy, you see the caution? Yes. This is a black tank flush. Okay. The only time you hook the hose to this, you have the sewer hose attached to the other side. Uh -huh. Black tank valve open. Yep. Otherwise, you fill up the black tank, comes up the toilet, and you got a huge mess. How does it? How does the valve? So you pull that thing on the other side, the valve's open. You, is it like push to shut? Yep, push okay. to shut. Got it. All right. So that that's like if you got a clog or something, and you need to flush it out. Yeah. Or, all right. Well, it actually helps knock stuff off the sensors too. Okay. You understand electricity; it reads resistance in the yes. water. Yep. Well, if stuff gets stuck to all the sensors. Right. You say it's full when it's not. Yeah, got it. Got an outlet out here. This is another uh, jack for if you had cable. It's a what for what? If you had cable, you could put oh, a TV out here. Another cable jack. Yep. Okay, got it. Furnace right here. Keep kids away from it. Okay. Also, get a screen for it. Okay. Hornets and mud daubers like to nest in it. Uh, if they nest on the igniter, you won't have any heat. Okay. If they don't nest on the igniter, it's going to be a fire hazard. And yep. it's going to smell horrible while yep. you burn their nest. Yep. <laughs> got it. That's where you fill your fresh water. Okay. So this is the tank that's going to hold water for you. That's when you would use the water pump. Okay, got it. Down here is the, the drain for it. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yep, and you just turn it and it drains. Okay. This is the back of your refrigerator. You're not really going to mess with it. 
And this, this is condensation. Okay. Condensation hose. Got it. It gets pushed back in, you're gonna rot the floor underneath the refrigerator. Got it. This is backside access, so if, if there is anything weird, I can clean out from like yep. the yep. the board. That's what that, yep. But gotcha. be careful with there's a board back there, so don't try to mess with that board and end up breaking it. It gets expensive. And what's this here? Is this uh your stove vent? Rain chain, okay. Yeah. Your windows here, they all have holes down here at the bottom. Uh -huh. This seal is not a watertight seal, it is a dust seal. Got it. Water runs in a track, comes out Big down holes. here. Got it. Over time, these will clog up with dirt and grime, just get some compressed air, too thick, whatever, get it out of there so it drains. Okay. If it gets clogged up enough, it'll start coming inside. Yeah. Got it. I'll run your awning a little tiny bit out so you know it works. <laughs> yeah. But anything over like 10 to 15 miles an hour, you don't want to have yeah. it out. Yeah, just show us the controls. <laughs> Out. Okay. In. Okay. Right. I am going to show you. If it's misting out, uh -huh. and you want to be under it so you're not getting soaked. There's a height adjustment on either side, so you can tip it so it runs off, so it doesn't pull up in the middle and tear it. Make sure you put it back to even before you run it back in, and you're going to bend the arms. Yeah. right there okay. yeah your tank heaters here okay. that's what's going to keep your tanks from freezing when you're when you got fluid in them and it's under like towards low temperature what am I trying to say here? but yeah so that just keeps your tanks from freezing okay over here we got your monitor you got your battery it's always going to say full when you're plugged in because okay. you got a converter charging it um when you're not plugged in then you can see how much battery life you have left you got your fresh tank black tank gray tank okay you got your water pump over here your water heater on gas, you got your water heater on electric. As long as you have water in it, you can turn this electric one on. If there's no water in it, that's what you're gonna end up burning up and it's gonna, you're gonna have so to. So it'll run on gas or electric, the yes. water heater? Yes. Oh, cool. So you can have it on both. Yeah. Gas will get it hot quick. Electric will keep it hot. Yeah. Gas will kick back on like you're taking a shower or something. Okay. It'll kick back on and keep that water hot. Mm, okay. Yeah. Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure that's only a six gallon water heater. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about now, these? You got awning light. Oh, this is the this light right here. Okay. And then you got your awning light. Okay. Gotcha. Everything else, you actually have to go to the light and Push turn lights. off. Okay. Cool. Well, you got outlets over there by the, the bed there, so you can charge mm -hmm. the phone. Yeah. Spot to put the phone on the wall. This guy goes right into the pass through. Mm-hmm. Got storage under here. This table comes down into yeah. the bed. Yeah. There's a little lever right here. Okay. So when you want the table up all the way, you want to make sure that lever's on this side of the plastic. Mm -hmm. You want to go down with the table. And pull the cushion up. Okay. And then you like flip that lever back to like lock it. Gotcha. Yes. Okay, got it. And there's the bed. Cool. Cool. Little crank to open yep. skylight, yep. and then uh, how do you run like the air conditioner and the heat and stuff? That's gonna be over here. Okay. Let's go at the fridge first. Yeah. And work okay. Our way All that right. Way. All right. <laughs> so right here we got your refrigerator. It says auto right here, right? Okay. So that means you're on electric. If for some reason you lost power, it'll automatically try to light on gas. Now if you get a check light when it's lighting on gas, turn it off completely. Wait a few seconds. Turn it back on. There's probably air in the gas line. It happens. Especially when you run your tank all the way empty, it'll happen. Now, running down the road, I'm just going to click it over to gas to make sure it's good. So you can plug it into your house, get it cold. Okay. Then switch it over to gas to run down the road. Just make sure that check light doesn't come on. Then you'll be good. Hmm. Um, it does take about three hours for this to get down to temperature, so that's why it's a good idea to plug it in at home. Okay. So you want a 30 to a 15 amp adapter for that. Okay. Also, depending on where you go camping, some campgrounds only have 50 amp service. Mm -hmm. so you might have to get a 50 to 30 dog bone too. Okay. Stove top. Need a lighter floor. Light. So you have to have a lighter for it. Yep. Okay. Do not travel with this up, it will shatter. Okay. <laughs> you can't buy just the glass. 
Okay. You have to buy the whole metal framing. Yeah. Yeah. You want to come over here? I'll put it back to you. I'll see when you get to the part. Hi. So. No. I hope you're up. First time I hit the button, it's going to say auto. Yep. Anytime you're running the AC, I want to see that fan on auto. <clears throat> now, if you just want to run the fan, you can turn the fan on, just the fan. But if you're going for AC, I want that back on auto. Okay. Hit it again, that's going to be your AC. Okay. I'm going to get it to turn yeah. on. That's why I had it at 65 yeah. in here. Now, at night, you don't want to turn this below 60. It'll yep. freeze up. Yep. goes okay. you can open this up you can also open these up directly where you want it okay. what does this do oh that's these yep. got it that's about 30 degrees what it is outside okay. now if you start it in the morning you get a better result out of the temperature change than you do if you start it at noon when it's hot yeah got that part <laughs> don't don't run the AC with the door open it because it'll actually cause us to freeze up. Yep. And then you won't have any AC ticket because it'll shut itself off until it uh, gets deep on. Yep. So I hit it one more time after the AC, it went to furnace. Okay. I'm gonna turn it up so it'll turn on for us. It'll try to light itself three times and then it'll stop. Same thing, if there's air in the line, I'd shut it off completely, wait a few seconds, turn it back on. Um, so this is the, the furnace itself right here. Yep. Yeah. Underneath it here, you got your fuse panel. So I'm going to carry some uh, automotive fuses, some 10s, 15s, looks like you got a 1, a 20. These two 40s right here though, that's what's charging your battery when you plug into shore power. If those are popped, you're not going to get any 12 volt. And almost everything in here runs on 12 volt except for the AC and the radio or the AC and the TV. Okay. So, and then you got breakers just like at home. Yep. Um, now, if you're calling for power, say the lights on the ceiling are on and it and they're not on, there'll be a little light next to the fuse. But let's say if it's the awning and it's not working, someone has to be pushing the button on the awning for that light to show up down here. So you have to be calling for power. Toilet has a two-stage flush. Push down lightly, it'll fill up the bowl. Push down all the way, it'll flush. If you're doing a number two, make sure you fill up the bowl. I know it sounds weird that I say that to you, but there's customers that didn't, mm -hmm. and they had cl clogged plumbing. Yep. So. Fan switches up here. Same thing, crank just like the front one. Okay. Uh, there are accessories you can buy for these, okay. like uh, Max Air covers. Okay. They go over the top so you could have that open when it was raining and it wouldn't be getting in. Mm. Something to think about. Okay. Also, the, you are pre-wired for a backup camera. It goes on the back there, there's a black plate. Yep. Uh, you hook it up and it goes to a screen that plugs into your cigarette lighter in the truck. Cool. Bluetooth to it and you'll be able to see behind you all the time. That's going awesome. Going down the road. Yeah. They are pretty pricey. I think they're like 400 bucks or so. But for that convenience of being able to see behind you and you're traveling, you travel a lot. Up in that cabinet, bag of books, okay. and a remote. Okay, cool. Your shower curtain is in there too. Oh, okay. And there's not really a manual for campers, but there's a manual for each of your appliances. Right, okay. Cool. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to upgrade this to 60 inch. <laughs> yeah. Smoke detector. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Over here we got the GFI, so if any of the outlets aren't working, I'm coming to check this to see if okay. it's tripped. Yep. And then, should be LP detector right there. Oh, yeah. So if you got low voltage, that thing's going to chirp at you. And I'm screaming at you like a smoke detector. Get out, go shut the gas off. Yeah. Get everybody out of the camper, open the windows, and air it out because you got a gas leak. Okay. Be careful though, when you're cleaning, you might scare the shit out of yourself. Okay. Because some uh, aerosol cans use yeah. propane to expel it, and yeah. that will set it off. Got it. You got the wireless charger pad there, keys to the unit. I gotta go over a checklist with you. All right. Exterior look clean to you? Yes. Sure. <laughs> we talked about it's a 30 amp service. You have is, is right in here. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. All right, there it is. Yeah. And you're just gonna, it, it, 
it cruised up to 100 watts the solar panel itself okay so okay cool. it's, it's just charging a 12 volt okay cool i'm sure it's not charging great you guys ever had a weight distribution hitch before no nope. all right so the idea here is that uh we're using these bars to kind of distribute the weight a little more evenly across the whole platform and we also have the benefit of friction points back here so we're gonna have less of that fishtailing feeling while we're going down the road so essentially to put it on uh, you just back underneath of it like a regular uh, trailer. We're going to lock the ball on. Once we're locked in place, we use the tongue jack to lift it up and about to where we are now. Uh, at that point, we can slap the bars up here where it's push in, slam in place. And this little clip here is what we use to pull them down. But then it'll go right on top nice and easy like that. Um, if you can't get it up high enough to uh, easily put it on, I recommend like a 2x4 or 4x4 or something. Just get that extra height. Or if you're at a weird angle or something, there's a pry bar that Mike's grabbing right now. We can use to stick into that square hole, and the bar will sit in that little loop there. And then we can just pry it up. So once it's on there, we always take the cotter key. We go from the front to the back. So if we catch any debris going down the road, it just pushes it on further instead of knocking it out. Mm -hmm. um, Send a bar flying down the road. Yeah. And at that point, uh, it's it's ready to go, and we can bring it back down and tow with it. Now anytime that you're going to be doing a lot of backing up, especially with turns, we're going to want to stop, do this again, take the bars off. It's going to really limit your movement when you're backing up. Uh, like if you pull through a gas pump or something, it's a straight back, not a big deal, don't worry about it. But like going into a driveway or something, it's probably going to have to come off. But and when it's up high enough to remove them, you'll be able to jiggle the bars. But once I get down a little bit and the tension starts going on there, you won't be able to move them at all. Okay. And then you'll hear some popping and creaking from this hit each one. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, then the rest is pretty normal. Uh, seven way hooks up, and then we got our safety chains down here. And then this guy is for the uh, tearaway brake. You guys familiar with tearaway brakes? No. <laughs> no. no. It, right. it locks the brakes up. If, it, if for some reason it came off your truck, it yeah. locks the brakes on the camper so you don't see it going past you. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah, I figured that's based on the name. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, so that we always want to. Obviously leave that in while we're uh, towing or sitting. We don't want to pop it out and use it as an emergency brake. The uh, switch is there. Uh, I always treat them as a one-time use thing because they could weld itself shut and yeah. then you won't be able to get it undone and it'll start melting things. So. Oh, yeah. I've had to rewire an entire camper before because someone didn't put the, they pulled the pin out and put it back in soon enough and it melted the wires all the way to the brakes. Wow, so. Yep, that's emergencies only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions? Uh, if it runs out of power, is it manual rod on there? Yep, so there's a, a plug right there, gotcha. and then Mike's got the, uh, the rod in there. But it's uh, what size is it? That one's a three quarter. Huh? That's not on. Oh, is it a three quarter? Yeah, they're, they're both the same. Either one of these will work. Okay. They're also the same for your manual, your same lights of gas. Okay. And then your warranty information for the next Okay. Honestly, if you ever do get in that situation, I find it easier to have a long handle ratchet. That way you get more leverage, it's a little easier on you. Yeah. We had to do one of these hitches on a jack that wasn't working. Oh, yeah. It was not fun. <laughs> so you kind of have a hook up with an emergency brakes and whatever. Like, it's just a D-ring that hooks on where the hook chains go. Oh, okay, cool. Any other questions you can think of? Yeah, Is it turned on? Nope. Is there a fuse on these guys? I think there is a fuse on these guys. Alright, uh, I might have to track that down then. I'm not ready to Okay, so we're going to have to add a fuse to your truck, but it'll be alright. So there'll be numbers on here. We're mm -hmm. going to set it about three. That's about the middle. Okay. If you feel like the camper is pulling you when you hit the brakes, you're going to turn it down. And that's with this wheel. Down gotcha. is towards you. Up is away from you. Okay. Um, if you feel like it's pushing you when you hit the brakes, you're going to turn it up. Between any vehicle and camper transition, it's all different. And it's mm -hmm. all about feeling how you like driving. Mm -hmm. okay. And basically, you want it to feel like you're braking, they're braking together, not not pushing or pulling on you when you hit the brakes. Okay. And then you know you're doing all right. Okay. There's also instructions in the box there, too. So. Gotcha. But, yeah, we have to add a fuse because there's no power coming to it right now. Got it. 